Hi guys, welcome back to another video with Three Amigos. In this video, I want to share how I bought this Leica as a mistake. To give you guys a bit of a background story, I've been doing photography for more than 10 years. Um, I mainly shot with Nikon digital bodies and in 2019, I got into film photography. And at that time, knowing that Leica was in the epitome of film cameras, I purchased a Leica M6, which you can check my review or comparisons in this video. And I bought a Leica M6, uh, it was a black body, and I also bought a 35mm pre spherical where you can check the review here as well. So having shot the Leica M6 film body for, for a few months, I decided that it was time to also get a digital body. So this was in early 2020, and at that time, the camera that was of choice was the Leica M10P camera. At the time, these second-hand bodies were going for anywhere between 4,500 to 5,000 US dollars. And that was the budget that I had in mind as well. And I was looking for a silver chrome body to complement my Leica M6 black film body. So um, I have a friend who is a Leica collector and he buys Leicas from different places. And so I decided to ask him because he would know the best place to buy it from. So I told him what I wanted and I told him my budget and I asked him to help me buy it. So a few days later, I'm at work, I'm busy and suddenly he gives me a call over the phone and he says, hey, I found you a Leica M10P and but I actually have a more interesting one because there's someone who's selling a white one. So I actually somehow thought that he would have my budget in mind, but somehow he, being a collector himself, I think he was also very excited by the fact that he saw a white Leica. So without hesitating, I just said yes, without actually even asking uh, for the price. So the next day, I go to his home and I go to collect it, and he tells me that this was the price. I was honestly quite shocked at that moment, and it was completely out of my budget when I saw the price tag. But when I put my eyes on this camera, I held it in my hands and it just felt so good and so solid. And I took a close look at the camera and on the top there was a number. It said number 215 out of 350. And I just couldn't take my eyes off the camera knowing that it was a limited edition and it just looked so good. I was a bit taken aback at that moment, but uh, my and actually my friend was nice enough to say that he would take the camera, but uh, having seen it in person and in the flesh, I just couldn't say no, and so I decided to keep it. Now, what was interesting as well with this lens is that it also actually came along with a limited edition uh, 15 millimeter Sumilux lens, and on the lens, it also is actually paired with the camera. So there's actually the limited number edition that's printed along the inner side of the lens. And I also later found out that the lens cap was also quite special because most of the Sumilux 50mm comes with a normal lens cap, but you noticed on the inside is that it's actually uh, velvet. All right, so um, overall, it was just a very, very nice camera to put in your hands. Now, I'm not going into too much details of what it's like to shoot with the camera because I think there are a lot of reviews online about the M10, the M10P. So I want to share a little bit more about what it's like to own a white limited edition Leica camera. Now for me, the rangefinder experience has been a breath of fresh air. Um, having shot you know, digital Nikon for more than 10 years, sometimes the experience can be a little bit boring or a bit too mathematical as per se. So I think that's also one of the reasons why people really enjoy the rangefinder experience. It's because it's something really different to what they're normally shooting. So needless to say, Leica sensors um, are known for their colors, their contrast, the image quality, in particular for uh, portrait work. Needless to say, I love the colors, the contrast, the image quality, and especially for portrait work. I mean, this is what Leica sensors have been known for. And it doesn't mean you take better photos, but straight out of the camera, I find them more appealing for my personal taste. And the one thing I love about the workflow is that I actually don't need to edit the photos much and they just appear great out of camera 
and there's something about the color and the contrast of this camera that really pops the way it renders um, skin tones um, it makes it very nice for the, the type of work that I like to do and all my friends who have had photos taken by this camera uh, can't help stop praising these photos. Now, on what occasions would I take this camera out? As I mentioned, this is not my only digital body. I have a Nikon and a Fuji, so I take those for work-related events or jobs that I have take um, as a hobbyist. Now, I take this camera mainly for social events, for example, weddings, dinner parties, casual hangout with friends. And in a way, what's great about this camera is that it doesn't take a Leica collector to know that this camera is special. I mean, this camera shouts Leica. The camera is white, it has a red dot. So, in terms of what I enjoy about it, is that it has become a sort of fashion accessory. Now, I know a lot of Leica diehard shooters are not going to bash me for saying that, but it is true that if you were wearing a suit or something more formal, uh, this camera uh, really goes well. Now, this, because this Leica attracts a lot of attention, whenever I go to events, my friends or people I don't know would actually come up to me and see if they could look at this camera. So it's a great uh, conversation starter for me to share some of the work that I do, the story behind the camera, the story behind Leica, and why I love doing photography. It's also an opportunity for me to share, for example, my Instagram page, my Facebook page, and my website. So it's also a great PR marketing tool. This camera demands so much attention that even when I go to weddings or events, the professional photographers there would actually come to me and see if they can play with the camera as well. Now this can be a two-edged sword, all right, because its greatest strength is also its greatest weakness. This camera is white, I can't tape the Leica logo to not show that it's a Leica camera. I can't take this on holidays, I can't take this to places where I wouldn't feel safe. And I can also have not really been able to do street photography with it as well. Because when you take a photo of someone because it's white, obviously people would take a look at your camera and you lose that candid moment. One of the things I would also say is that um, uh, although Leica cameras have a great build quality, this does tend to scratch a bit easily. Now I know if you were having a Leica camera and you were having like a black paint, then you know scratches are what you would want. But in a white camera, when this paint comes off, which I actually have a little ding over here to show that I actually do take my camera out and not just keep it in the cupboard as a collector, uh, it does attract scratches. Now I know that you can send the Leica body back to Germany and they will actually repaint the camera for you. But you know, for me, having a little bit of scratches here and there is not a deal breaker. And it shows that I use my cameras, I love my cameras, and it's part of the story of what will make this eventually a very unique limited edition camera as well. As of 2023, this is not the latest camera. It's not the camera with the newest sensor. There are newer cameras, for example, the Leica M11, M11 Monochrome, and M10 R, for example. And this camera sensor is six years old. But I think 24 megapixels for what I do is more than enough. Uh, people have been making great photos even when sensors were much, much smaller back in the days. So I don't see any need to upgrade um, my camera at the moment and I'm overall just really really happy for this camera serving a specific function at a specific time. I would mention that one of the great things about having a limited edition camera, although you do pay more upfront, because it's a limited edition camera, your resale value actually retains better. So I think the percentage that I would eventually lose from selling this camera would be less than if I were to buy, let's say, a, a normal silver or black uh, M10. So that's something nice to take into account as well. Now I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos about this white Leica, then please comment and subscribe to our channel.